Hey guys, John Craig here with Performance West Tennis. Welcome to today's video, which is video number two in my two-part series examining the great serve of Felix Auger Eliasim. The first video is all about the technical elements. Take a look at that video here on the channel if you've not done so already. Today we're going to look at how he creates different spin effects on a serve and give you some great tips on how you can improve the spin on your serve and make it more difficult for your opponent to return. So let's go ahead and begin, and we're going to start out by taking a look at this back view because this is the ideal view to really see what's happening on his serve. And in the first serve here, we're going to see Felix hit what I consider to be more of a flatter serve. And you can see that his ball location is right there on that line. But really, even though he's going to hit a flat serve, you can see just before he gets to contact, his racket is still on edge. So he's going to be using the power of pronation long axis rotation to generate racketed speed and send that ball off with a tremendous amount of speed on it. So here we go, we're going to move forward through it and you can see here that his racket's barely coming from the left, it's really inside coming straight through and it, it really stays kind of in a slot as he finishes through. It really doesn't go too far off to the side. Okay, so his, he was probably in this kind of a slot right here from there to there. So you can see he's hitting a pretty flat serve. The other detail here about the flat serve is that you can see that his contact point, the racket is really at the top of his natural extension. So it's not rising, it's just making contact with the ball. Okay, So here he's hitting what I consider to be a slightly uh, slight flat slice. So for those of you who like to hit hard flat serves and have a low serve percentage, Work on getting this flat slice developed because just getting some element of slice on the ball will help the ball descend and improve your first serve percentage. And when it comes to slicing versus topspin, it's easier to create different variations of speed and spin. So keep that in mind. Okay. Next up, we're going to cruise over here to the next one he hits. And this is quite a bit different. This is actually his heavy topspin serve. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to compare ball toss locations. And you can see quite a significant difference in the location. And of course, you can also see that he's got quite an arch in his back here, uh, which is not easy to do, obviously. And you know, for those of us who, who are more rec players, those of you who are rec players, and uh, you, you know, maybe a little bit older, don't have the same range of flexibility, uh, this is kind of an impossible thing to really do and, and, and do repetitively. So I, I don't encourage uh, trying to get yourself in this position too, too much, okay? But let's take a look at this nonetheless. And look at that racket coming up from behind, underneath the ball, and then sweeping out to the left right here. It goes out to the left and then across to the right. So you look at the significant left to right action on this ball, okay? What a beautiful movement. And he's making contact with the ball more with the racket on a side view here, 45 degree angle. So the racket's still rising as it makes contact with the ball. And then finally, look what the racket ends up on the side over here. So, wow, if we look at the previous one here, look at his racket is out that far, okay? So we're just going to look at the path of his racket here. Look at the range between these two sides of the sweeping action of that serve. That is amazing how left to right that is. So for those of you who are trying to get more top spin and more spin on your serve, think less about projecting towards your target and more sweeping from left to right if you're a right-hander and of course right to left if you're a left-hander. Okay. Other notable thing here, look at the tremendous amount of pronation or long axis rotation he has on the ball here on serve. The strings are actually facing the back fence at this point in time. So you know the racket is really projecting significantly out to the right, okay? Next up, we're gonna take a look at his next serve here, which is a mo more moderate serve. It's kind of almost fall halfway between these two serves. You can see that the toss is a little bit off to the left, so he can get a little bit more spin on it, but I would say the base of where his contact is and the height of where his racket is not really rising anymore, and the angle versus the topspin, which is here, you can see that he's hitting more of a slice serve. He's getting a little more slice on this one than the very first serve he hit. He still has a good sweeping action out to the right, although I wouldn't consider it as pronounced, but he's hitting a good flat slice here, really coming through the ball. What a beautiful serve. So on all three, you can see the pronation. If we go back to the first one, I'm going to go all the way back to the first one. 
you'll see the pronation, although it's less pronounced, it's there. There it is. And then on the second one, you're going to see a, actually a little bit more pronation as the racket sweeps out left to right. Look at that. Whoa, beautiful. And then finally, there's the pronation on this one as well. So it's a bit of a myth to think that you're not going to pronate on certain serves. Some people say, well, you're not going to pronate on a, you're not going to pronate on a slice serve. Well, that's not going to happen. That's not true because you've got so much racket speed going and you're trying to go from edge onto the ball. There you go, you're right on the edge, and you're going to try to cut across the ball from the edge, and the racket's naturally going to pronate through, through contact. So those are the details. I, if you get out there and work on your spin variations. One other thought here, don't worry too much about the ball toss being a little bit more to the left. As long as you're able to comfortably do it physically, if it's off to the left a little bit, it's okay if you reveal that to your opponent, especially if they have trouble returning your serve to begin with. So... That's a good review on the different spin variations from Felix. What a great serve he has. But again, it begins with a technical foundation. So if you're struggling with your foundation, it's going to be difficult for you to achieve these variations. So do work on your fundamental skills as well. Please give us a like. Leave your comments down below. I respond to every comment. And uh, if you have not done so already, please subscribe to the channel. We've got so much more coming your way that's going to help you with your tennis game. And then finally, if you're interested in having me review your serve here on the YouTube channel, go ahead and click on the link down below and uh, leave your name and your email address uh, in the page that land on, and that will go into a drawing. And you will, may show up here on the YouTube channel, and I will let you know in advance if that's the case, if you're selected for a video review here in the future. And um, stay tuned once again. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Go back and watch video number one if you've not done so already. And we will see you soon in the next video. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.